So I would just like to show y'all around my little homestead slash off grid slash free living. It's just, it's, it's, I'm not trying to do nothing specific. I'm just trying to live for free. That's about it. Um, but yeah, come along and I'll, I'll show you what I got going on. It's all pretty simple. Um, we'll start inside, I guess. This is the inside. Basically everything in here was done with really material meant for outdoors. The walls are all done with pressure treated wood, just plywood. The ceiling is just old metal roofing. Um, and I, I, my main reason for doing that is we don't have anything to control humidity and living in South Carolina, it gets 80, 90% humidity and I don't wanna to have to worry about mold and all that sort of stuff. Um, so the other way to combat that is with a bunch of air movement. And that's also the only way we stay cool. So we have a ceiling fan and we also over here in the window, we have box fan and this really does, does what we need it to. Um, it helps pull all the cool air in from the opposite side of the house and helps bring that air all the way through. So that's pretty nice. But that's all our AC. That's all we use for AC. And then in the winter, since we're in South Carolina, it's pretty easy winter, not very difficult. So we got this little tiny wood stove. It does it for us. Uh, I definitely would not recommend ever getting one of these for your house. Uh, not because it leaks smoke or anything. A lot of people say that. Um, I've never had an issue with it and it's been in here for years now. I mean, years. So, but the big issue is you can only put these little tiny pieces of wood in it. And it is quite aggravating to cut all of your wood, what feels like five times, just to make it fit in here and then burn up in a few hours. So if you want a fire to last you all night, you're gonna want a bigger, better quality wood stove where you can actually put some good sized things in it that'll keep you warm through the night. Uh, I'm just, I bought it and I just kind of stuck with it because I don't like spending money. So maybe someday I'll replace it. But for now, it's been doing the job for the past four years now or so. Um, we share a dresser. Me and my wife both live in here. We share a dresser. This is my side and this is her side. We've got clothes all underneath the bed uh well not all but we got extra clothes under the bed and then we have some extra uh like nighttime stuff medicine stuff like that got our bookshelves up top and some extra storage back behind that that's kind of stuff that you just we don't ever use um unless i don't even know if there's anything back there right now besides like a guitar um and then up here just another extra little storage um but yeah, nice and simple in here. It's literally just a bedroom. Everything is outside, you know? So you sleep in here and you live your life out there, so. And this is where my solar comes in at. I only have two of these SOK uh, 12 volt batteries. Um, I think it's a total of 400 amp hours for 412 amp hours. Um, yeah, cheap inverter for like a hundred bucks. And it's been been doing great. It's powering everything you see in there. Lights, fans, charges, all sorts of DeWalt batteries and Milwaukee batteries and uh, powers a fridge consistently, nonstop, all the time, and my batteries have not gone below like 90%, you know, so it's, and that's also with the TV and, and some other amenities, so it's just, I think it was old thing, showing that and showing the batteries down there.
little kitchen area. Uh, very simple filing cabinets, you know. We got those for a few dollars a piece, and they've been doing great, you know. Uh, yeah, like they want to last outside, good in the weather. They don't mind some condensation, and it also has a nice countertop on top that's heat resistant. So then I got a little piece of free butcher block sitting there, and a little propane oven. Got this for like 50 bucks off of Facebook Marketplace. And that's sitting super efficient. Oven works awesome. That's that's stoked on that. We got our fridge here and freezer. And like I said, that runs 24-7, no issues all throughout the winter, throughout storms, throughout, you know, even if it's three, four days with, with no, no sun, that thing's still running for us. So we don't really have too many issues with power outages. So nice simple system, working good though. And then the whole shelter itself back here, basically everything was built for free. I think I bought the screws, but it's all old metal that we siliconed all the holes. I got some milled boards up there that I got from a sawmill for free, cedar trees that I got on the property for free, old, old siding from my grandma's house. It was up underneath her house uh, that she had used to do some interior work. I don't care if it lasts really or not, you know, it's all for free and it's all for fun, you know, it's like, it's not completely uh, necessary for this to be a permanent structure, you know, it's like the house itself is and, uh, and yeah, the framing of this will last a long time. So the rest of it, I just kind of like to have fun with and experiment with and try different things. So, but it's all made out of pallets, bamboo, obviously. And then on this side, we have our, our shower area. And we just recently put this tub in here so you can sit here and take a little hot bath. But it's pretty nice, nice and simple. A little 20 gallon tank. I think the heater cost us a hundred bucks, you know. Um, I do have water ran down here. Like I said, my whole goal is not necessarily to be completely off grid or whatever. My goal is to live as cheap and easily as possible so that way I can invest my time into the things that I want to do in life. You know, I don't want to be stuck working a nine to five my entire life. So I've set my life up to be able to, it, 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 everything is replaceable and super cheap and easy to maintain. And that's the way I like it. So ain't trying to be nothing special here. And over this way we have our toilet. And again, just two pallets, two sheets of metal. And then on the front here, you got a cut up piece of a pallet and two pieces of log and sheet of metal. A little filing cabinet, keep your toilet paper in and away from the bugs and all. A little plastic totes, keep your composting uh, leaves and all in for your composting toilet. And you got a bucket up under that box. And once it's full, you, you dump it out into your little composting pile. Nice and simple. Alright, so that's basically it for all the, in my opinion, like the important stuff. That's my necessities. Uh, you know, that's how I, I bathe and how I cook and how I have power and water, all that good stuff, you know. Um, so at this point, I'm just going to walk you around try to not talk so much and I'll just show you what we got going on in the rest of the property and uh yeah like subscribe if you want if not who cares um <laughs> but yeah nothing nothing crazy going on out here nice and simple free living is all I'm after if I don't have to pay to live well I'm doing pretty good because I don't understand what's going on out there but it seems like everybody's just living to work and working to live you know so i don't mind working i just want to do the work i want to do i don't want to take no job you know um but yeah all right well, let me walk you around and you'll have to excuse the mess we've been working out here trying to put in some french drains and all sorts of stuff around the house we recently had an excavator out here getting all the trash off the property the previous owner seemed to use this place as a dump so uh 
We're working on getting all that out, all the trash out of the woods and everything. About got it all. Little garden area. This is our firewood shed and storage for some other things. <laughs> That is the well house. There's a well in there. It's just storage shed. It's just a metal building. I've just been putting cut logs over it making it look like a cabin as I hate the look of it. I'm not a fan of the metal stuff. It is very functional and that's why why it's used, but not my favorite. This is where I keep all my tools, bicycles, and old chickens. It's got like four of them. I don't eat a whole bunch of eggs. A little storage building made out of trampoline legs and three pieces of old sheet metal. Compost pile. Trees. I'm trying to start a little nursery. Be sweet. <laughs> 